Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryan again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons video. In the past weeks, if not months, I received so many questions from people who asked me what is actually the best weapon to use in Minecraft Dungeons. Because we currently have so many different uniques, so many awesome weapons to use, and they just keep adding new DLCs, so that means even more loot, even more weapons to choose from. So of course, this can be a very difficult question to answer. If we look at the most used weapons right now, the Fighter's Bindings, the Resolute Tempest Knife, and also the Ruined Axe, we can definitely say that those are top tier. But is there actually one that is best in every single scenario? Or do they all have situational uses? For example, use weapon A for speed training, weapon B for taking down bosses, or C for big packs of mobs. Well guys, I'm gonna cover all that in this video, so let's get right to it. By the way, currently only a very small percentage of the people who are watching my videos is subscribed to the channel. So if you aren't already, definitely make sure to double check if you enjoy my content, of course. And also make sure to smack that like button. It only takes a second and I appreciate it big time. It helps me out a lot and of course also other people that are looking for videos like this one. Alright, so guys, let's get right to it. So, most of you guys know that I mainly make Minecraft Dungeons content. I've been playing the game since day one and still make videos almost every single day. I currently also have a community Discord channel with almost 2,000 members who all play Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons and I just keep seeing builds popping up right there with three different weapons, guys. They are always used, so you can definitely say that they are top tier. So I currently have the Resolute Tempest Knife equipped and this, guys, doesn't necessarily mean it's the very best weapon in the game. It's just my personal favorite weapon, which I really love to fight with, has some very awesome building enchantments and looks very cool. But of course, we have more popular, more top tier weapons, which we can showcase for this video. The first one being the Berlin X. Then we also have the Fighter's Bindings. I think this is the very most popular weapon in the entire game from the community and then also of course the Resolute Tempest Knife which I love to play with. They also have unique varieties, for example the Chill Gale Knife, the Soul Fist or the Maulers which I currently don't have in my inventory but um, then also the Curse Axe and these are very awesome to play with as well but aren't nearly as powerful as the three in the top row. So I'm only gonna cover the very best weapons right now. So let's first off showcase the Rollwind. Out of the three weapons right here, this one definitely deals the most damage. It has a very high base melee damage, but of course, this also comes with a much lower attack speed. This one also costs shockwaves as built-in enchantment, which is a very cool one because it will automatically give you some extra AoE. And yes, for the curious people, this one is indeed a built-in shockwave enchantment. The last attack in a combo launches a shockwave, damaging enemies. A very awesome AoE and ranged attack, but on tier 1, it won't deal that much damage. Nevertheless, though, very great to have on your weapon. Uh, yes, if you equip this one, it definitely looks very cool and also hits like a truck, guys. If we use the attack animation without a death cap mushroom, it looks exactly like this. With the death cap mushroom activated, it will, of course, attack a lot faster. So if we start hitting the target dummy right here, you can see that this guy deals tons and tons of damage. Very awesome to play with, but at the same time, sometimes I think this one can definitely lack a little bit of attack speed. So because it is not that fast, that also means that you should definitely not take healing enchantment like Radiance. Instead, because it already deals a lot of damage, you would focus on leeching because defeating a mob heals you for a small portion of the mob's maximum HP. And of course, this one will definitely allow you to take down mobs in only one hit a lot easier. So healing yourself for 9% of the mob's maximum HP will be an easier way to heal yourself rather than Radiance because Radiance only has a 20% chance to spawn a circular area that heals all allies within it, and if you don't attack as quickly, well, this of course won't be super efficient. Because this weapon already has a built-in AoE, a built-in range attack, you don't necessarily have to take more AoE, but since it doesn't deal that much damage, I do recommend you to go for Swirling, because this one is simply so powerful at close range. 
of instead you could go for something like committed or sharpness but really if you want to focus on dealing a lot of damage then the critical hit enchantment will allow you to do that anyways so there you have it three very solid enchantments for the Wellrend axe which makes it very strong in higher apocalypse play Next up, we have the Fighter's Bindings, and this one deals the lowest damage of the three, but instead, it will actually hit super fast because of this boost, attack speed, and turbo punches built in enchantments. So, of course, because you have a very fast attack speed, we will take Radiance as healing on this bad boy, so uh, we can heal up ourselves 24-7 when we attack, and of course, this will also proc enchantments like swirling very quickly as well. Hitting an enemy with a lost attack in a combo performs a swirling attack, damaging nearby enemies. You could also go with something like thundering because the 30% chance to summon a lightning strike will happen quite often because of your high attack speed. Sometimes though, I definitely feel like thundering is leaving me behind a little bit. So with the swirling, you will always have consistent AOE damage. And yes, guys, talking about damage, critical hit will definitely be a very awesome third bet. So for fighters, bindings actually have two combinations, the critical hit swirling radiance or the critical radiance shockwave. So you could pretty much experiment with both of them, but I am a bigger fan of the swirling because shockwave did get nerfed a little bit and doesn't deal as much damage anymore. If you're playing on higher apocalypse difficulties, guys, stunning can also be super interesting with this weapon because it will pretty much permanently stun your enemies because of the high attack speed. If you have a 15% chance to trigger and you hit them like 10 times per second, well, you will pretty much always apply the stun, which in turn is going to increase your survivabilities big time, but of course also reduces your damage output. For the sake of making the attack animation look exactly same like the Roman Axe, I'm gonna equip this one with Shockwave. So if we attack towards this direction, you can see that the shockwave applies pretty frequently. And if we use the deathcap mushroom, oh boy, this goes even faster. So you can definitely tell that this one is great fun to play with. If we start hitting this target dummy, oh man, those damage numbers are insane. And you just keep creating so frequently. So you can definitely say that this one also melts bosses and big packs of mobs without a problem. Last but not least, we have the Resolute Tempest Knife. This one increases damage to wounded mobs, which is a built-in committed. The reason why I think the Resolute Tempest Knife is way undervalued is because the committed enchantment on tier 1 is actually very strong. Deal increased damage against already wounded enemies and on the tier 1 this is 0 to 50% bonus damage. So if you do the math, this could definitely be more interesting than a sharpness level 3. Of course, if you one hit kill mobs, this one won't be very interesting, but against bosses or very tanky mobs, oh boy, committed is such a dream enchantment to have, especially if it's already built in. What I also really like about this weapon is that you have a speed burst after mobs defeated. So this one has two very interesting built in enchantments and the speed burst after mobs defeated is not only interesting for speed rating, so for example, you take down one mob after the other, but this could also be very helpful in situations where you try to escape. So you could dash from one mob to the other, and if you have, for example, a Isolager or Chillager placing ice blocks above your head, you will be able to escape a lot easier from those if you have some extra movement speed. On the highest Apocalypse Plus difficulty, mobs also move very quickly, so having an extra movement speed burst after you defeat a mob can definitely be very powerful. So guys, don't underestimate this ability. For the Resolute Tempest Knife, the one that I'm currently using, I use these three enchantments. First off, the Swirling, because it already has a pretty fast attack speed, so the Swirling will proc pretty quickly. Then also the Radiance, so I will be able to heal myself quite often, and of course the Critical Hit. In my opinion, Critical Hit it, of course keeps popping up on every single weapon is the very best damage enchantment out there for single targets. So since we're showcasing weapons with the shockwave enchantment on it, I'm gonna do exactly the same with this 167 Resolute Tempest Knife. So if we attack with this one, you can tell that the shockwave is not procking super fast. I think it's almost the same as with the rowing axe, but um, of course if you use a deathcap mushroom, it goes way faster. So right now we're gonna hit the target dummy and you will be able to see how fast you will be able to proc your critical hit, your radiance, and of course that shockwave. But um, now of course the question is which one of the three is the best one out there? Well guys, to be honest, there is not really a short answer to this one because all three of them are very awesome to play with and you should definitely pick the one that you enjoy playing with the most. 
if we're gonna have to compare them with mats and stats, well, then there are definitely some of them that will excel over others in certain situations. So let's talk about the situational equipments. So first off, I think the Rollwind is a very awesome weapon that can definitely devastate big packs of mobs in no time because of its one hit kill potential. But at the same time, due to its low attack speed, this one also lacks some self-healing, some self-sustain, let's say, some survivability that will allow you to easily get through those highest apocalypse difficulties. So this one can definitely become your death if you're gonna have to fight against some very strong enchanted mobs. Next up, we have the Fighter's Bindings, and this one is pretty much the opposite of the Whirlwind Axe because the damage is the lowest of the three, but because of its high attack speed, of course, you will be able to trigger the Radiance almost 24-7, which means it will be a lot safer to use, a lot better for survivability on the higher Apocalypse difficulty because you can constantly heal yourself Get yourself to maximum HP even almost always. And if you combine it with a cowardice enchantment on your piece of armor, you will deal even more damage, which is pretty overpowered. But sometimes I just feel that the fighter's bindings is definitely missing out some damage if you want to take out certain enchanted mobs or during a boss fight. And that, my friends, is where the Resolute Tempest Knife comes in as third pick because, in my opinion, this one is actually combining the best of both worlds. It doesn't have the very high attack speed of the Fighter's Bindings, nor it has the high attack damage of the Ruined Axe, but it's a perfect balance of the two. So you have a pretty decent melee damage, and at the same time a pretty strong attack speed as well, and this will make up for a very awesome third alternative, which is in my opinion the most fun one to play. In the past I played so much with the Fighter's Bindings and also did some experimenting with the Ruined, but right now it's just an era of trying something different and with the Resolute Tempest Knife I have definitely found my new favorite pick. I also think that the built-in enchantments on this weapon are the best ones out there but of course some people just really like to have some extra attack speed or deal a lot more damage to clear big packs of mobs a lot easier. So are you currently playing with a Rollwind Axe, a Fighter's Bindings, or the Resolute Tempest Knife, well guys, you always made the right decision right there because all three of them are very awesome to play with. I'd say the Ruined Axe is very nice to face roll on the lower Apocalypse difficulty levels or if you're playing with a soul build that will give you some extra healing in the background. For example, my Bow of Lost Souls right here has a built-in Anima Conduit enchantment and this one can definitely be a lot of fun if you gather many souls. This will just constantly heal you so you don't have to rely that much on the leeching enchantment on your whirlwind axe or maybe you just want to stun lock enemies with the fighter's bindings or in general play it a little bit safer on the apocalypse difficulty then the fighter's bindings is for you but i really like to have a little bit more risk more reward and that is my friends where the resolute tempest knife comes in this one has a pretty awesome base damage. I mean, it is so much fun to dash from one mob to the next one with a speed burst after mob defeated. So I am definitely going to continue playing the most with this bad boy. But maybe, guys, with the next DLCs, we will find a new very strong weapon. So um, I am very much looking forward to that. So guys, there you have it, my thoughts on the best weapon in Minecraft Dungeons. I really hope this one clarifies a little bit what you should pick in your battles on the highest apocalypse difficulty, or if you just want to snowball through difficult levels and deal with big packs of mobs, or take down bosses without a problem. In my opinion, you should always pick the weapon that you enjoy playing with the most, because if you have more fun with your gameplay, you will always be more successful as well. Alright, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed watching this one. And of course, if you are new to the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe because there is so much more coming your way. If you have a suggestion for a future video, just leave it in the comments down below. I am very interested in hearing your thoughts. And of course, if you want to share something, just hit me up on Discord. I am always all ears. Right now though, it is 4am out, so if you want to talk more, then definitely come and join the Discord. It is in the description. Guys, take care. I'll see you in the next one.